What's up guys, Son of a Boomer here. Today I want to talk a little bit about a question that I had when I was a kid, as well as one that I've gotten from a few different people over the, I don't know, past couple of years. Um, and that is, can you defend yourself with a pellet rifle or BB gun of some sort like that? And today I want to kind of show you why I wouldn't advise it. I'm going to be comparing a couple different types of BB and pellet rifles or BB and pellet guns to just a standard 22 uh, revolver. Calvin, you be careful out there. Don't shoot your eye out. But I want to show you the difference in the power between um, BB and pellet guns versus actual firearms. So let's get started. All right, so as you can see right here, we've got a couple different water bottles. These water bottles aren't necessarily like a lethality test. It's more just to kind of show you the difference um, in power, kind of, just as a, as a target medium to show you the power difference. Um, right now, I've got a Glock 18 style um, BB pistol made by Barrett Air Guns. Uh, my wife actually won this for me um, a few years back, and it's actually really cool. Um, let's take a couple shots with it really quick. Just rack it like that. It uses these CO2 cartridges in the bottom of the mag. So it is loaded and I'm just gonna shoot out there, but you can see the slide reciprocates back, loads the next BB and there's a fun switch on it. That's pretty cool. Make sure I still got a couple. Yeah, I still got a couple. So I'm gonna take a shot at this uh, gun here on the left or at this bottle here on the left and always wear safety glasses. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. I don't even know if that penetrated, honestly, guys. Let's go take a look. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this, but we have the BB right there. And I've got a little bit of water dripping out. So you can see there, there is a hole in the water bottle, but it really didn't do much. So the BBs out of that little pistol are traveling at about 300 to 350 feet per second. Um, I don't remember the exact number, but it, it's somewhere around there. So not crazy fast. Um, is it a fun plinker? Yeah, but I really don't think this would do much. I don't even know if it would break skin on a uh, two-legged predator for self-defense. So let's try something else. This is a Crossman 760 Pump Master. It was my first um, BB gun as a kid. I still have it. It's definitely looking a little worse for wear now. You can see it's gotten a bunch of rust and stuff. I've put thousands of BBs through this thing, just plinking around in the backyard. It just takes the regular, you know, steel BBs. You can see it right there loading. So it goes in there. And then the power depends on how much you pump it. And you can pump it anywhere from, I think they usually advise anywhere from three to 10 pumps. Um, so we're gonna do the max, I'll do 10. Eight, nine, 10. I think that was 10, hopefully. Um, and we're gonna shoot this middle guy. So let's take a look. All right, so that one jumped a little bit more. And if we look, as I push, you got water coming out of both ends. So this went straight through the water bottle, but there really wasn't a whole lot of shock. Woo, water everywhere. So again, I'm gonna say not super effective. This is a little bit of a step up here now, guys. Um, this is a pellet rifle made by Crossman. This is a break action. So what you do is you stick it right here on your leg and you take your palm and you re just wrench it down and you take these little pellets instead of BBs. They're little pointed pellets made of lead and you stick it inside the barrel just like a break action shotgun. And these pellets are traveling closer to 1200 feet per second, anywhere from about a thousand to 1200. So let's take a shot at the one on the right. Oh, helped you that time. That one was a little bit more explosive. All right, so that power ended up knocking all of our water down or out. And instead of just putting a hole in it, it more tore 
the bottle open. So that was a decent, decent amount of power. Let's try something else now. All right, guys, now this is a Heritage Rough Rider chambered in 22 long rifle out of this six inch barrel. It's not traveling crazy fast, but you have a much heavier projectile. I wanna say, let's see what this is advertised at. This is just Winchester white box, uh, plated hollow point. It's advertised at 1,280 feet per second with a 36 grain projectile. Um, that number or that speed is often used out of a much longer barrel. So you're gonna be getting significantly lower velocity than that. But let's give it a while, I'm taking the safety off and I've got one bottle that's just water and I think the other one has a little bit of ice in it because it's so cold out here. But let's give it a whirl. So here's just our water one. Looks like it probably came in right about there. Ripped the entire side open and exited. Got a little bit of water left in there. And then right here, we've got... <laughs> I don't know. I'm guessing it came in this side and then exited over here. But look at this. This has a little bit of uh, ice left in it. Look at that, all the way from here down to here, just ripped it open and on the back, similar, pretty big uh, exit wound. So I hope this has given you a little bit of insight as to why it's probably not a good idea to count on a um, pellet rifle or BB gun for self-defense. You wanna treat them with respect, but understand that in a life or death situation, they're not something that you should count on. The other thing that I'll mention, some of you might say like, well, the pellet rifle actually looked like it had decent power. One thing you gotta think about is that in order to load it, you've gotta do this, grab a thing, put it in, ratchet it up and fire. And you have to do that each time versus even this little six shooter 22. I think I've got a couple left in here. Even though it's a single action, it still has a much higher. You probably couldn't hear me through that. Even though it's got a, uh, even though it's a six shooter and it's a single action, it still has a much higher fire rate than something like that. Um, and it is more powerful, it just, it just is. You're shooting a much heavier projectile around the same velocity as what you're getting out of that. Not entirely the same velocity, but close to it. And that's for 22. And again, I don't recommend 22 for home defense, but I'd much prefer to have a 22 versus any of these guns. They're cool, they're fun, they're good to train with. They are not made for home defense, so. Hope this gave you guys some education on the subject and I hope this was a good demonstration. I appreciate you guys, I'll see you next time.